In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to set up the PaaS server. It's going to be a very quick guide and you should always refer back to this guide anytime you want to set up a new PaaS server. So these are the steps that we're going to follow. Uh, first, we'll need to register an account at iroku.com. So if you don't already have an account, this is the first thing that you have to do. And then we will deploy PaaS server to Iroku once you have an account. And then we're going to add the app name and had some configuration keys and finish the setup. The next thing is we're going to download the pass SDK and set up our Xcode project. Finally, we're going to write our first passcode to send a simple text to the cloud. So let's get started. If you don't already have an account, uh, then you should create an account, provide some simple information, first name, last name, email address, and then the country you should just choose node.js for the language of development click on i'm not a robot and then create your account so because i already have an account i'm just simply going to log in to my account okay so once you log in the next thing you want to do is you want to go to google and then type pass server example once you do that click on enter it will take you the first result will be the one that you need. So if you click on this, I already have it open on this tab as well. It's the same. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down a little bit. And here you can read if you want to uh, do it for local development. But here I'm not going to be doing any local development. I'm just simply going to deploy it to Iroku. You can see the button here that said you can use Iroku and MLab. I'm going to explain more what Heroku does and what MLab does in another video. This is just a very quick setup, so don't worry about what it means right now. Just click on this purple button and it's going to take you to, if you're not logged, if you're not registered, it's going to ask you to register, but because I'm already logged in, it takes me directly to this page. So now let's choose an app name. So we're going to call this app um, basic. Twitter. In fact, it says the if you, if you see the error that it says there, it says there has to be um, let's do something. It has to be lowercase letters. So keep that in mind. Basic Twitter. Let's see if that okay. It's available. If it's not available, just keep trying to call a different string because you know some one have already registered that app name. Your app name has to be unique. So just keep trying. Sometimes you might put an iPhone just to have something unique okay uh, i'm going to leave the region to be united states and then leave everything the mlab mongodb is the database you already chose a sandbox one for us which is free none of this thing is paid everything that we're going to be doing is free and then now we have to uh, add the keys as i said so as you can see it's already said it's going to be mounted on slash pass leave that one don't change that and then this one that says app id we need to generate some kind of a unique keys so that's what we're gonna do now so if you go to random.org we want to generate uh, what i want to do is go to this website and here actually when you go to the website let me show you what the home looks like this is going to be the home screen then you want to scroll down to where it says so we want the string generator click on that we want to generate four string i'll tell you why four in a minute and then we want each string to be 20 because right here it's a maximum will be 20 so we want and then we want numeric digits we want uppercase and lowercase i mean this is not important to be honest if you want you can simply just type any random keys on your keyboard but you know um, I prefer to use a random generator. So let me now click on get strings. So now we have four strings. So I'm going to copy the first one because I want to have a 40 digit long app ID. So I'm going to paste that one. I'm going to go back. I'm going to copy another one. Paste it again. Keep in mind that every time you paste, it's going to leave a space. So you want to close that space. So now we have 40 digit random characters which i like so i'm going to do the same thing for the client key okay or oh, the one that says master key so i'm going to paste let me go back again 
copy the last one so now we have some unique key that is very hard to break this is for security so uh, you do this but like i said you don't have to do you can just type any random keys that you want okay finally the last thing we have to do is copy this happening or if you remember what you type you can you have to change here where it says your app name so you need to change it to what you uh, type at the top here so i'm going to paste it basic twitter.iroku.com slash pass now click on deploy app it's going to do its things as you can see everything is running it's telling you that it's working okay so we have to wait it might take um, like a minute or two it doesn't take that long It says deploy to Heroku and it's how everything has a check mark. So that means everything is completed. We've deployed our uh, pass server to Heroku. So now we have a database and an application server working correctly. If you click on view, it's going to open in a new branch and it's going to say, I dream of being a website. This just means it's been set up correctly. You can close that and then we click on manage app. So the first thing I want to show you here is the MongoDB, uh, MongoDB database. So if I click on that, if you click on this one, MongoDB database, it's going to take you to Iroko, which is going to automatically sign you in. And this is your table. We have two schemas, uh, two schema, and the schema is the user and the row set up already. Don't worry about this right now. I'm going to close it out. I will come back to this screen later. So that's our database setup and this is our application server. But the only important thing that I need to show you right here is the settings here. So this settings here, anytime you need your keys that you uh, originally did, you can just click on the review config var and you can see that's the key that we provided. That's the master key and that's the server URL. We're going to need this free information when we're going to set up the Xcode project. So the next thing that we have to do now is to configure Xcode project.